Sam. Cam. Sam and Cam. Hey. Hey, we're back. Okay. <laughs> One more world down, just really fast. Yep. One episode, one world. It'd be like that, huh? It'd really be like that, huh? These guys again. Haven't seen them in a while. Yeah. Vexen is no more. <laughs> yes. His scent is gone. Axel struck him down. Something I find deplorable. Agents of the organization striking each other down. Our problem is Sora. Vexen proved to be no match for him. Yet he's still under Namine's control. But we cannot eliminate Sora, can we? Correct. <laughs> for our superior, he is in dire need of the Hero of Light. When Light loses sight of its path, we may find use for the Dark. What we must do is obtain the darkness. Riku, of course. Hmm, maybe now I'll finally get to fight one of them. Just one card left. If I get through this, will I be free of the darkness? Just ask yourself, what would Mickey Mouse do? <laughs> <laughs> He'd probably be like, uh, you know, he'd probably just like. Like, Mickey's solution to getting rid of the darkness would probably just to, like... He would, be say, he would say, GET BLACK HERE! <laughs> no, he would get an idea, and then he'd use the idea and light bulb <laughs> to get rid of the darkness. That's that's what Mickey Mouse would do. <laughs> I just gotta act like a cartoon character. <laughs> That'll solve all my problems. That's what Sora does, basically. Sora just runs up to Vexen and gives him like the Looney Tunes, like like really big kiss, like <laughs> <laughs> just fucking flips out like Daffy Duck. Is that the animation for Ars Arcanal? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good shit. Yeah. So if you notice, he does not have a new costume, but he does. Look very decayed. Look at all of these nines. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, those flowers are suddenly not an issue when you have an actual tech. There, there's your Halloween costume. <laughs> My Halloween card costume is darkness! Well, yeah, like. Nice voice crack. Riku has, like, some sort of decaying texture applied. And so does Mickey Mouse for some weird reason. It's like one of those. It's like a Mickey Mouse creepy pasta. <laughs> Pretty much. Like, you can even notice it on the card. Honestly, like, like, forget Mickey Mouse creepy fossils. Anything from that Mickey Mouse cartoon is probably worse. I mean, people like literally get decapitated and like <laughs> have their bones sticking out after injuries all the time. The Mickey Mouse card to just um, that creepy thumbnail of like his face, where it's like his eyes are flowers and he's got a creepy smile. That would be pretty spooky. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of that's a lot of gargoyles. Oops. I don't know what I'm 
<laughs> I've lost all control. We're in pumpkin. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> that was interesting. You know, if you think about it, Riku and Knuckles are basically the same. <laughs> they, they, they were both, both got the same spikes. <laughs> uh, like they, they, they both were like. Um, oh, can I not kill this? I don't think you kill that. Oh fuck! Uh, like they were both duped by the villain in their first appearance into like acting like an evil jerk, and then realized, hey, this sucks, and then just decided to become good guys. <laughs> Also, they were both stuck on islands. <laughs> now that's that's the real conspiracy, right? Forget Sans is Ness. It's Riku and Riku is Knuckles. I mean, it goes deeper than that. As we've established many times before, Kingdom Hearts and Sonic are three to the same game. Yeah, I mean, this is Sonic Adventure 2. <laughs> hey, nice. So thanks for the save point. <laughs> No, 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 no. He's gonna have to look up the lyrics for This is Halloween. Would you like to see something strange? The E face just looks off in this world. Yeah, rapid break that flower. Nice. Poison. Ah, oh, you, you, uh, sorry, you went to the battle. Okay, make sure to check the world map of this. We so actually know where we're going. Yeah. Three nines, baby! Yeah, I'm kidding. This deck is a great dual deck. I'm no longer a third-rate duelist with a fourth-rate deck. So look, again. Boom. No thought. I didn't even have to look at the screen. I'm not even going to reload my cards because I got Mickey. It'll do it for me. Yep. And then... I got Mickey again. I don't know if I'll get away with that. Okay. <laughs> if it was a higher card, you'd basically have stun locked him there. <laughs> I mean, I should have done it when he was stunned. You couldn't have done, done anything. Well, you were already attacking when you picked Mickey up. No, I, I, I shouldn't have done that. I should have, like, waited. You check the world map. I'm a little bit more patient. Oh, I'm going. Yeah, you this basically way. go straight to the left. Shuggy boogie 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 boogum 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 I'll just do this for this Holy burst! Nice. Holy burst, Batman! Two shirt two two shots hit I was about to say two shirts. Two shots hit the flower, so that's pretty good. Yeah. I love to go. What does White Knight's card do? But then I remember the White Knight's card. I'm pretty sure it just makes you jump higher. Because you might go. That's pretty useless. But I think like it does have one use, and it's like only against the Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm getting the chance to do this that much. Yeah, because it's hard to get three nines in a deck. Yeah, when you can't control what your deck is. Soul Eater looks cool in this world. Yeah. Yeah, this is the right way. Are you? You said Riku has a decaying texture? Like, look at his clothes. You see how there's, like, knack. Or there's especially his pants. I think that's just the lighting. No, no, no. Like, it's actually, like, a different texture for this world. I mean, okay. If you say so. Uh, I've got a lot of options here. 
<laughs> it's, it's even more noticeable in dark mode. Um, strong initiative. I still have a lot of these. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see this is more of the freeze. <laughs> Remembered? What? When we started singing Bionicle's leg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't go forward. Yeah, so I guess go right. Go around that. Dragon Wolf is still, still the best. Which I actually haven't used. Oh no, I didn't. Actually. He did. <laughs> You've been, you haven't even been thinking about it. That's what it is. You've just been so used to just using it. Your Majesty, come on! He toppled Mickey all the way across the sky. Yeah. So intense. <laughs> <laughs> the soul eater icon is just staring at me. That's it. I missed. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and then Riku holds up soul eater and goes, Stop looking at me with a big ol' eye. <laughs> Nice dog. Get him out of here. Sad boys. Happy boys. You know, and pe people, because of Final Fantasy VII, people often like joke about, like, Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy VIII. People often joke about Numero giving his characters like huge under the six swords. But then like look at Riku. This is like the most regularly sized sword ever. <laughs> yeah. Oh you know what? I wanna test something. Oh it's going higher? Yeah. Oh well, they were a little too low. Too. Kinda works. Oh and then that'll of course kill them too. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's not uh, gonna be a Sonic Blade issue. Not that I would have the chance to choose to use it, but, you know. Feeble, Beeble. Revenge on the flower. Disrespect. <laughs> Banish. Banish. Big on. Big on. Big on. Big on. Bow. Bow. Chicka wow wow. I turned into Ursula for a second. <laughs> 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 Have you ever played uh, Zelda Link to the Past? Yeah, yeah. Like, a lot? No. <laughs> a lot. I played it. <laughs> um... Cool. The... My, um, one thing that, like, me and my family like to reference, like my siblings, um, is the sound effects for whenever you land an attack on, the, on a boss. It, it's hilarious. The, the, a boss's hurt sound doesn't matter what boss it is. I think like the only one that doesn't do this is Gandor. It's bow. <laughs> like you, you, you land like on a boss and you go like 
Bow, bow. <laughs> and, then you, and then you kill the boss, and then you go like, bow, wow, wow, wow. And then it blows up. <laughs> wow. Dodge most of that, huh? Why does Riku sound like Roy when he does that? He's like using Roy's off <laughs> Uh, I don't know if he, he does it while playable, but one of his sound effects that kills me is just sounds like he's saying giraffe. Like he goes like, giraffe or something. <laughs> and it's like, hey dude. Uh, yeah, we know you like giraffes, buddy. It's so weird that like, like go to toys. These, these, these voice actors are really good, but like they're not actually voice actors. It, Sora is Hilly Joel Osment, the kid from, from Sixth Sense. M. Night Shyamalan movie and Ricky was te was 90s teen heartthrob David Gallagher from the show 7th Heaven a show no one remembers now because it has no cultural footprint <laughs> yeah <laughs> in fact I think the most cultural footprint it has besides David Gallagher still existing <laughs> um is uh what's it called like those like weird seventh heaven kids that would be crossover commercials. Cause kids that would be weird things like that back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> nice touch. <laughs> Ooh! Hey, we take those. Look, look at him here. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, look, look, look at that world map. Is it actually gonna lead to it? Oh, well, it should, because it should go around like that then. Do yeah. you think it would be faster though to go left instead? No, because then you still have to go through all those rooms to get to won't to Conqueror's Respite. Okay. You at least have to open up this next room. All right. Well then, we'll just do a long way. All right, I actually pulled the lyrics off of this. Yeah. yeah I'll do it next. You should be serenading me with your beautiful singing voice. Thanks, I was in Glee Club in elementary school. You were what? I was in Glee Club in elementary school. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah. I actually did it to, like, get out of class, but, uh, <laughs> it was pretty good. <laughs> a value 27 duel. That is a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. Ooh, double Mickey. I wonder what Mickey, the card Mickey uses when he holds it up. It, it's, it's just, it's just a card. <laughs> I don't know why they just showed him using a card. Like, did they not want to spoil that he's a Keyblade Builder? <laughs> for people that didn't play the first game? Yeah, that's weird. Like, that's not that's not an unknown piece of information. <laughs> it was still unknown when Chain of Memories is a thing, because no one actually spoiled... Uh, Wait, original Chain of Memories or re-Chain of Memories? Original. Okay. Because when the original came out, like, no one actually spoiled that he was a Keyblade Builder. Like, oh, okay. people were better about spoilers back then. Oh. Right. Probably because there also wasn't social media, so it was hard to accidentally come across them. I actually remember, um, when, like, telling people when I finally beat Kingdom Hearts. But, like, I remember it was also, like, my brother's friends, and, uh, 
telling them that he finally see Mickey Mouse at the end, right? And like the most common question was always like, does he wear a crown? Because like <laughs> zero. A value zero slate. Good job. But yeah, the most most common question about Mickey's appearance in Kingdom Hearts was always like, does he wear a crown? Because like he's the king and his stuff. It's mm -hmm. like no. <laughs> They just use his classic design, just the red shorts with the big buttons. And then he doesn't even use that design in the later games. You going somewhere, Mom? I'm just trying to, like, get rid of duplicates at this point. That's all I really care about right now. Eh. <laughs> Honestly, it probably doesn't matter one way or another. <laughs> yeah. In fact, what I should probably be doing, now that we're getting close to the top, is probably I want to save those green cards if Riku mode is anything like the end of Sora mode. You also probably just want to actually start using more moments to freeze instead of just once. Yeah. Cool team combo. Yeah. <laughs> Stun into jab. I want to do to the rich. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good thing we have the guillotines right here, then. Yeah, that's that's literally what I'm talking about. Oh, I thought you meant stun into jab. <laughs> no. I mean, granted, I want to do that too. I just I was looking at the. I was looking at the guillotine and I was like... Damn, wouldn't it be cool if there was like just a rich guy in that? Yeah. <laughs> 9 and 9. My favorite visual novel for the Nintendo DS. Just kidding, it's not a visual novel. That's just what ignorant Westerners call it. Brooklyn 999. <laughs> Remember how much damage White Knights did in King Hearts 1? Yeah. <laughs> but you had to carry them because... Like, oh man. They're not nearly that strong here, because card attack power is based on card strength, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Probably just one pie. I think you did. No. We're, we're not gonna have two. It's yeah, we're us. definitely not. Um, I think this. Wait, is this. We're, we're, what's the next room? I mean, we could make this a save yeah, point. Yeah, you could make it a save point. Well, although, we'll see. What cards do I have? Oh, I don't, can't even make oh, it a save point. Never mind, so, then. um. You make it a ruler room. Eh, uh, I don't need a ruler room. You know, because this is one room, so. Yours is back there. Yeah. I go to the bank of Sam now. <laughs> the bank of Sam, when I'm a little low, I always pay him back, but sometimes I have to snitch. Okay, now we're all caught up here. Yeah. All right, sweetie? So you guys enjoy your pizza. Okay, okay. You know where the... I don't... Your father's going to kill me because I'm late. Um, where are you guys going? You know, we're going out to dinner with John and Lily. Oh, okay. Do you know where the... Um, the plates are and the cutter? Can you get all of that yourself? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we know where yeah. that is. Okay. Tranquil Dankle. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah, there should be. Mm -hmm. All right. 
I can go straight or left. Should I go left, do you think? I think you go left. I think that's a, a better... Uh, Eight. This is straight, not left. Oh. See? Oh, right. Okay. I was confusing myself, as usual. Ooh, there was no sound on some of these flashes. Is this an NES game? This, do sounds just not play sometimes? Oh, did you see that super freeze? I do, I did see that. That was cool. I forgot if this happened in my super play, but if you like cycle through too many different slates sometimes, um, uh, Sora or Riku just play a um, bye. Uh, they, they they just play the summon animation even though they're going to do a slate, and the enemy usually freezes in place because what's actually happened is the game was loading that slate. So like if you if you do like Ars Arcanum three times, like it's already loaded Ars Arcanum that comes out. But if you do like every single slate you have, then even Ars Arcanum is going to Sora's just gonna hold hold his hand in on over his chest like he's summoning something as if he was like remembering how to do Ars Arcanum and then he'll do Ars Arcanum because like oh because the game is just taking a while to load Ars Arcanum. It's really interesting. Yeah. Yeah, there. Are, I like there are a lot of loading tricks like that to make it not break the flow of combat. Otherwise, the game would probably literally just freeze. Mm -hmm. Well, um, it's an important problem. Granted, I don't think there's any loading issues in like the actual action-oriented King Hearts games, and since this is the right way, I was trying to go left. This is straight. No. I, I think we we are both defining left and straight different ways. Yeah, it's kind of hard to define directions when you have uh, isometric camera. Whenever there's a third, three, fourth view like that, I always like call the top right up, and then I just go from there. So like top left would just be left to me. That's how I always, always do it. I basically just tilt my head to the right. Nuked. Well, okay, I think you should go straight then, Sam. <laughs> Not that it really matters, but I think straight is more likely to lead to the bounce. So you think I should go here? Yes. Yeah, use fuel. Now what's going on in this room, huh? Nope. <laughs> nice. It's a really sick rapid burst. Such a good slate. Yeah. I like how you can see the spiral hill in the background. Mm -hmm. a very long loading time again. I think that's just a bug. A it, bug. Like it, it happens when you like um it like pretty much consistently happens whenever you like mash through um victory trains basically. There's no escape. <laughs> you don't even see him die. He's just like a flash and he's obliterated. He's deleted. 
He's delt headed. Delt headed. Alright. On to the next door. Try to make that a save point. Nice. I did no dark points. I did not break anything. <laughs> I didn't need to. They just couldn't play any cards. Oh, I don't think I'll be able to make that. Unfortunately not. Yeah, you can just take a sleepy nine. A sleepo. Oh. Let's see, where can I make this? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind then. You're so mad, you're gonna kill these sleeping guys so you won't be mad. Honestly, is it even worth caring about one thing if it's a safe point or not? Like, if well, I die, it's not like I can go back to my last save point. No, it's more about healing for the boss. Well, we'll see how much health I can get. Okay. Mm, you could always go back to the other save point. Oh, you didn't actually make a save point. <laughs> Damn, this is a save pointless world. Well, I'd have to go find another room that has a low number. <laughs> well, my, at, at that point, you might as well just try to find the boss. Got him. Double impulse. There's a really good episode name joke we had in this episode. I don't remember what it is. Aside from Brooklyn 999. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, it was what it would be to. Oh, I thought it was something. I don't think it was that. It was something else. Well, it should be World Ring Mouse 2. See, you can play that mouse card so you get a heal. Yeah. Let's see what uh, if I can get any health. I'm decent on health. But. Yeah, I mean this is fine enough. All right, you remember how to, you remember how to fight Ugly Wee, right? Yeah, I have to like. You had to break his card. Oh, there we go. Card and then break his card and then you had to break the dice. Yeah. And then since you're playing Riku, after you break the dice, you should reload. Mm-hmm. That's not the right way. Oops. Right. Five or under. Good thing I got that. Yeah. Maybe I should delete some cards to get more safe points. Yeah. I need to load room to do that. Oh, yeah. Break that. Break the dice. Reload. 
Breathe that. Breathe that. Breathe that. Oh, just just kill him. Remember to drag him below the set. No gimmick cards. Oh, okay. I'm just beat him up, right? <laughs> Damn, that's a lot of damage. He didn't. He never got an attack out. Yeah. Well, I mean, he did a little bit on the second time you we were hitting him, but still, like, he never got an attack out that mattered. There you go. That is your second way of healing. Nice. All right, now just make a beeline to uh, conquer his respite. What does that do exactly? Oh, okay. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, since this is an enemy card, so like... Right, where's the respite? Yeah, you just go through all the path you made. That's why we went the wrong one way around. Oh, okay. So you don't, you wouldn't have to make new rooms. So you could just... A walk of peace. <laughs> a walk of peace? Yeah. A piece of waka. A piece of waka? Who, as we know, was the true mastermind behind Kingdom Hearts the whole time. Oh. Yeah. It was Waka. That's quite the plot twist. Why would you spoil that for me, Cam? I had to. I don't like Waka. He's racist. <laughs> that sounds like a joke, but he's actually racist. Oh. <laughs> that makes him significantly less cool. Oh. I I'm pretty sure he gets over it. I don't know. I never actually beat Final Fantasy X. It's like one of the ones that I haven't beaten. Cause I don't walk as like just found out about racism. Damn, that shit sucks. <laughs> um. Come on. Nice. Nice. Hell yeah, you just got all of them with that impulse. I don't like that guillotine. <laughs> I had to strike it cause I didn't like it. Strike it, because I didn't like it. <laughs> Strike that. Reverse it. I like, I like the ghosts that fly around the map. Or the compass, rather. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is Halloween. Aren't you scared? Well, that's just fine. Say it once, say it twice. Take a chance and roll the eyes. Rise at the moon in the dead of night. Everybody scream. Everybody scream. In this town of Halloween. That is enough. Soulless copy. <laughs> Another soulless cop. <laughs> Alright, we're going to cut this here. Yes. Dude, the, uh, the progress. Yep. Don't call it a comeback. Because it's not. <laughs> See you next See ya. time. <laughs>